right, today we're going to introduce you guys to the Mobbit interior light upgrade. Our good friend uh, Cupra, who has a YouTube channel, Xanthius Bronco, I think it's his name on Instagram. He did a video on this, and it set the aftermarket world on fire with people trying to get these. They stay sold out. Mavit, most of you might guys may be familiar with, they offer a lot of stuff. I think they're based out of Asia, probably China or Japan. Uh, but he actually makes quite a bit of stuff, and you know the quality is not too bad. So uh, based on the people that I've seen that have installed this on Bronco 6G and Cooper himself, seems to be probably one of the better upgrade options there is. There's four LED lights. This this section goes in the rear cargo area. Here's four more that are dead center, just like the factory ones. And here's four more that are aimed squarely up in the front, uh, I should say the rear passenger seats. And of course, this bar here is a touch screen. You can like turn it off and on whenever you're in there. It basically plugs in just like the factory one. There's a clip that goes in this piece right here. There's two metal clips. Everybody says the hardest thing about the whole install is getting the factory one out. So you have to take two pry tools and Basically, you kind of pinch these in to pop this thing out. Uh, now, it only comes with these two red strips and this red strip of uh, adhesive. I did elect to add some a little bit thicker and a little bit wider adhesive uh, just because the Bronco 6G forums, people saying that it wasn't quite snug enough. Uh, of course, Mobbit's going to address this as well, but, you know, we figure we would add it just to be on the safe side so it'll stay a little snugger. Some other issues you may encounter, too. Some people said they had a hard time getting the factory... Uh, thing to click into this uh, but they said a little finesse and they were able to get it so we'll have to see on that as we install it but i can't wait to get this in you know we got some before pictures uh, of course living in chicago we have a lot of light pollution so i'm not sure if there'll be a true representation of what uh the difference is but we'll give it a shot and All right, so now we're going to take some cleaner and we'll clean this bad boy off here a little bit so the adhesive will be able to stay. Use any kind of cleaner. Just want to make sure that's good and clean, free of dust, uh, you know, dirt. So when this stuff goes on, it will have a good clear adhesion. Now I use Windex. Just because uh, that was what's already available for me. And we're going to take a dry cloth here and just dry this off. Make sure we don't have any Windex residue as well. But yeah, I think we're pretty good here. Now that we got that taken care of. You know, and as they say in the forum, the hardest part is getting this stupid factory one back off. So this is going to fit right up here at the top ledge goes up here to the front. So you just gotta plug this into the factory one. We're gonna take these things off here, these adhesive strip backings. And then once we're done with that, we should be ready to go. All right, so we got the adhesive backings off here. Like I said, I put the extra strips there just because from what I was being told on the forum, I was being told that this thing is not clicking in as good as it should. Uh, I know Mava is aware that they're not clicking in as well as it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's just like it's, for whatever reason, it is not wanting to go in all the way. So I'm not sure if that's just something where they just didn't I know some people said they did to the finesse it with a screwdriver, but I don't know exactly how they did that. It's just not going in all the way to click. That's the problem. Ah, there it goes. All right, so you want to feed this back up here. Make sure you're not getting that caught in on there. And then, basically, voila. You, know, you want to hold it up a little bit, let, it, let that adhesive get a grip. And you should be good to go. So we'll try this out and get some uh, images for you, some after images. And then we should be good. All 
As always, we hope you like this video. Uh, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Also hit that alert notification button too if you want to keep up to date with all the new videos we got coming out. We got quite a bit coming out here in the near future.